From the newsroom today, the Australian government will terminate a lease held by the Russian Federation for a piece of land near Parliament House in Canberra. The government has received very clear security advice as to the risk presented by a new Russian presence so close to Parliament House. The Russians were hoping to build a new embassy on the block to replace their current one. Independent Senator Lydia Thorpe has withdrawn allegations that a Liberal senator sexually assaulted her. Ms Thorpe made the shocking comments about David Van in the Senate yesterday. I withdraw those remarks. Senator Van said the allegation was completely untrue. Nick Kyrgios has revealed that he was admitted to a psychiatric ward during Wimbledon in 2019 and contemplated taking his own life. Kyrgios said he wore a white sleeve on one arm as he played to hide evidence that he'd been self-harming. If you need help, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14. The morgue manager from Harvard Medical School in the United States has been charged with stealing human body parts. Prosecutors say he stole organs and other parts of cadavers donated for medical research and then sold them. How about this? The 19-year-old son of swimming legend Hayley Lewis has stunned at the Australian swimming trials in Melbourne. Kai Taylor only made it into the 200 metres final after Kyle Chalmers pulled out and he went on to win, much to his mum's delight. Does get there. Taylor's going to get there. The son of a champion shows he's a champion as well. The win means that Kai has made the Australian team for next month's world titles in Japan. Good on you, Kai.